So it turns out Modern Warfare 2's third mode, DMZ, which has been rumored, never officially confirmed, but been leaked multiple times, apparently is being delayed until 2023, but will be a free-to-play aspect of the game. According to credible leaker Ralph's Valve here, this guy is very much on top of anything inside of Call of Duty's development cycle here, and I want to give you guys some more information about what's going on with this. And how the previous leak of an open world RPG seems to play into this DMZ mode. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to tap that subscribe button here. We keep you up to date with everything gaming news related. But let's dive right into this article here, guys, from Ralph's Valve. Talking about this third mode, the mysterious third mode that we haven't seen. Apparently it's been in development for over four years because this is like a brand new kind of gaming experience that we've never had with Call of Duty. It's supposed to be very inspired by Tarkov. And it seems like this DMZ mode is going to be tying into the campaign in some capacity here. Where Ralph goes on here saying, Modern for 2 is rumored DMZ mode is being described as an open world title following an elaborate storyline in conjunction from the campaign chronicling particular characters, fronts, and quests incorporating aspects of PvE and PvP events, which we've heard a lot about bots being involved with large scale modes in this, this could possibly be what they were talking about. But saying here that all things are peachy over there, saying that development for the title has been shaking, seeing numerous delays in development as a result of Treyarch's delayed premium title, which is why this Modern Warfare 2 is gonna be a two year cycle rather than your typical one year cycle for a Call of Duty game. But it's rumored that this DMZ mode will release in Q1, which uh, would be probably around March or so of 2023, but that's on the condition that Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 meet expectations, meaning that as long as the game launches properly and that crazy things are broken, we should see this DMZ mode released in the first half of 2023. Which this Modern Warfare 2 game looks to be just absolutely massive. You got a campaign, your standard multiplayer, Warzone 2, Spec Ops, and as well as this DMZ mode. I think Activision understood that like, yeah, people just wanna play Modern Warfare, so let's double down on this game right here. And we have some more leaked information about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and that's about the beta dates exactly, which we don't have anything, but it seems like we got a first glimpse of what could the exact dates be for the reveal of the beta dates here, which seem to be kind of around the right time frame here, or because we do know you have early access and then you have like open access right here, where it says right here, early access to Steam, PlayStation, Xbox, and Battle.net. For PlayStation exclusive, you get early access from August 19th through the 22nd. For all platforms, early access will be August 26th through the 29th. And then end of early beta, which would be the open beta, would be September 2nd through the 5th, which I don't really see that exactly happening. Again, these are leaks, guys. So you have to kind of take them with a grain of salt and kind of understand basically what they're saying here. So it sounds like we're probably having the beta access for Modern Warfare 2 happening towards the end of August, which would line up with previous dates that they've done for other kinds of betas for Modern Warfare and also just other Call of Duty games. These dates also roughly line up to what we saw from this Amazon leak right here, where they said that beta codes will be sent out by August 15th. So most likely around that second half of August is when we should expect to see the beta for Modern Warfare 2 go live. I could definitely see PlayStation getting early access to this beta because Activision did state that even though Microsoft is doing this whole merger thing with them that they are honoring all previous contracts signed with their deal so most likely playstation will continue a little bit of a you know early access exclusivity to the game itself but obviously that will kind of wane over the next coming years or so, so if you guys are new to the channel and missing any content from me recently check out this playlist right here gonna link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there thanks so much for watching greatly appreciate it catch you on the next one peace out